wonderful crew popularly known as Kabusa Oriental Choir. Today we're joined by the team. We have three on set. We'll be joined by the fourth one as they sing us out of today's show. But today we're joined by um, Kabusa Oriental Choir and it's a delight to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. So let's do a proper introduction. People know you all as a crew. Now there's four of them. The fourth one is somewhere in the studio. He'll be joining us to wrap up. But people know you as a crew together. But let's get to know your individual names. Okay. Starting from you. I go by Austin Wamara. Okay. Yeah. And, and my stage name is Austin Khan. Austin Khan, all right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, um, I'm Ofoeze. Ofoeze Ozoma, all right. Yeah, Ozoma Ofoeze. All right. Name, yeah. And what's yours? Uh, Opera Victor. Let's talk about the origin of Kabusa Oriental Choir. Now, I think it's, I don't know if it's a very recent development or if it's something we've been doing for a while and all of a sudden just picked up. How did it start? We are actually, we are artists individually. We have our individual projects that we are running. So we are friends also. So we usually meet at the studio in Kabusa. That's our major studio. So we went to Transcorp Hilton to swim one day and we are the ATM to withdraw the money with which will pay them to let us swim. So this idea dropped. So I asked them, uh, can you imagine how this song will sound if this, if this particular choir sings it? So I begin to sing it, and they started laughing. So at some point, they started giving me some parts. Then we just joked about it that they had fun about it. And then we, the next day, we went to the studio to record someone's song. I think it was his song, Vion's song. Or, so we have done we don't we have done plenty serious work in our lives. We just <laughs> said let's just leave this serious thing first. Let's just joke in the studio. Like let's just have fun. So we now decided to record that one that dropped while we were using the ATM. So we recorded, we were just laughing. What was that first one? What was the first song? That's the Yeba. Uh, uh, the Yeba. She be you won't ponga di ponga ba ba. So we recorded that and we were just laughing throughout that night. We didn't just sleep. We were just laughing. My stomach was hurting me while we were laughing. So when we were done recording, the next day or the next two days, we just went to shoot. We said, okay, what costume will we use? We have to use choir robes to shoot this because that's the only costume that will make sense for this. So we shot it. Even during the shooting, we were all just laughing. We, we didn't make it through any, 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 <laughs> any stage of this thing without laughing, without laughing our guts out. So after that, we posted the video, and then we just forgot about it. The next day, I went to the office, and ah, I opened my phone. Everywhere was wild with Both the video. Interesting. Now, I like that you mentioned you went to the office. I'll come back to you, but let me speak with you. Before you joined Kabusa Oriental Choir, what were you doing? Um, personally, uh, I was into business before now, so I think that's what I was doing before now. And how would you say that the dynamics of your life has, or the things around your circumstances in your life have changed since you started doing what you do now? With Kabusa Rental Choir? Um, a lot has not really changed, but <clears throat> I think some, some environment has changed, but a lot have not really changed in that business part because I, I can still do my thing and still do the group thing and still do the studio thing. So for now, I think we're good and everything is fine. Okay, and Victor, what were you doing before this? I was job hunting. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was tr I finished NYC last year. Um, October, you know, so I was just going to the studio, recording, and looking for a job at the same time, you know. And I was on the verge of getting this one job, and then Kabusa Rental Choir <laughs> came So up, are you still going to job hunt, or is this going to be like a no, job hunt? I'm not going to job hunt, no. no. Kabusa Rental Choir is no. your job now. <laughs> it, is a it, job. Is, it is more than a job. It's a business. It's a job. It's everything right now, so... When you, were, you said you, were, you went to the office. What were you yeah. doing before this? Uh, 
I work in a law firm, even up till now. Are you a lawyer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> this is interesting. In, so, I still work in a law firm. And we know how, okay, because I'm a lawyer as well, and I know how the legal profession can be very, very um, yeah. strict. How are you able to handle that? God actually blessed me with a very nice law firm because we don't, we, we don't, we don't get cases like that. You get, like, we focus on other areas like company law. So it's not, it's not really a litigation firm? No, it's it's uh, partly litigation. It's litigation, but we're not so neck deep into the litigation game, you know. We don't get, we are not sourcing for briefs like that. So it's not like uh, uh, a chamber where in a day you have to go to four courts. So like in a week, maybe we have just one place to go to, and it has helped me a lot. My office. Are you sure like, your boss is not going to look no. at you since I say, hey, no, 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 no. "We are not praying for our business for Shout move. out to my boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what did you study? International relations and diplomacy. Oh, interesting. And so we're, we're not looking in the nearest future now. For now, it's Kabusa Oriental Choir. For now, no other alternative plans. Yeah. Well, in the as time goes on, yeah, we look for various ways to, you know, chip in the profession. All right. But, and um, let's look at how, you know, you, you said a lot has not changed, but you're becoming more famous now. At least people yeah. can say, oh, I know you from Instagram. Yeah. Yesterday, you, went, you all performed at a show in Lagos. Yeah. How has that been for you? How's the experience been for you? Man, <laughs> I don't know how to say this because <laughs> this experience, I've, we've not felt it before. So it was like, Sometimes I keep asking him, like, are we really doing this? Like, are we, are we really here? Like, are we here? So it's all good. It's all good. So um, I think with time goes on, we know how to handle things and we know how to cope with it. So, but for now, I think we're doing just good. Victor, has the money started coming in? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> From the Kabusa Orient Choir, we are just doing our thing right now. You know, we're having fun. Yeah, and well... <laughs> I heard, yeah, we've had a few offers and all, you know, but the money ain't coming in yet. Not yet. So uh, uh, people know now that, you know, you have to hire. I, I know you guys, you, you've started performing. You've made a career out of this beyond performing for Instagram. Yeah. You're also now performing at events. Yeah. Now, um, let, let's talk about, I wanted to ask you something, but let's talk about the f fourth person, the fourth member of your group. Tell us about him. Okay. Ransom <laughs> is, is a producer. Like the baddest producer I ever lived. In. Oh, <laughs> it's unfortunate that we couldn't get ransom now. No, it's you quite really annoying. Uh, no, I'm sorry. So he has a unique personality, and he's the one that produces. Or uh, when you listen to the stuff, you will know that it's somebody with very high IQ that produced that. So he also. Mm, what do I say about ransom? Who else wants to talk about ransom? I think I, I think I know him more. You think so? <laughs> yeah, I no, think so. you don't. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, but I think, I think, I think he's just a cool guy. Like, he just want to get things going. Like, let's do this. We can do this. Keep on pushing us. Like, come on, we can do this. Yeah. Even when we are tired, like, okay, young face, come on, we can. Get a Mosican on phone. And he makes Probably, yeah, you know, sacrifices a lot. He's yeah. a very sacrificial person. Oh, oh, how sweet. I can't wait for us to have um, Ransom join us in a moment. <laughs> he'll be joining us as the producer of the Kabusa Oriental Choir, and they'll yeah. be singing us out of the show. But let's talk about um, the, the four different men working together. Now, not mm -hmm. a lot of male music groups have survived. We've seen the likes of the Plantation Boys up until tomorrow. Blackface is still upset with Two-Face. There's always falling out. You know, unfortunately, we had P-Square, and today they are now King Rudy and um, Peter, I think. Peter, uh, yeah, so like th there's, we're seeing a lot of male music groups not sticking together. Victor, do you have fear that that, fears that that will happen to you, and how do you intend to handle conflict resolution? Oh, well, I'm not scared. Like he said, we are all individual artists. So don't be surprised when you see singles out there and then every other person is supporting. And aside being a group, we've been friends for a very long time too. Um, although I've known Ransom the longest, but it's 
it's way, I think the friendship is way deeper than what's going on right now. So I don't think we are falling anytime soon. What is... At all, at all. Okay, let's, let's look at the relationship between Kabusa Oriental Choir and Don Jazzy and why he's always <laughs> posting your videos. I'm so glad you brought that up. I've been waiting. <laughs> First of all, shout out to Don Jazzy. Our, our daddy, father. our yeah. father, we are Don Jazzy boys, <laughs> officially Don Jazzy boys. And yeah. we are so thankful that we have, we are so thankful to Don Jazzy for everything, for supporting us, for everything he does for us. Like, he carry our matter for head. Like, was he the first to ever post your videos? Mm -hmm. he, he, the first celebrity mm -hmm. to post your videos? Yeah, he, uh, Tunde had not Tunde first Tunde. posted the video. Shout out to Tunde Ednot. We love you so much, sir. Thank you for doing this. So Don Jazzy saw it on Tunde Ednot's page, and he was intrigued by the video. So he picked it up there and put it on his page. And since then, every video we put out, Don Jazzy always reposts, and oh. it divorced our heads. I think if that's one thing that we know about Don Jazzy is how supportive he is of upcoming very arts. Very supportive. You know, arts, and he's a very humble man. You would think, yeah. you would think he would have this air of importance, but there is nothing, no very, such thing oh, about it. Have you met him yet? Um, we'll keep that. Wow. Mm -hmm. You, you, I you will know. I've met him. Yeah. Eh? I know I've met him online. You yeah. met him online. Okay, Don Jazzy, we're looking forward to the grand meeting yeah. of Don Jazzy and the Kabusa <laughs> Oriental Choir guys. I hope that you will film it for us. But it's a delight to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, very quickly, yeah. I wanted to ask you one question very quickly. On the average, how long does it take to produce your song and to produce a video? Okay. Sometimes uh, it depends on the project we are working on. Like basically our songs, we work on one minute because it's an Instagram post. So it doesn't, sometimes we do all night in order to gain. We have had situations where we were working and then towards the end of the uh, show, towards the end of that particular project, we just stopped and switched everything and started from the beginning again. So wow. shooting of the video takes like close to four hours or so. Editing of the videos can take close to two to three hours. All this to get a one-minute video. Yes, when you see these videos on Instagram, please ensure that you appreciate this voice. You see the work that is put into. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. People thank can you follow them on Instagram at Kabusa Oriental Choir. We'll be joined by the fourth person, who's their producer, in a moment, and they'll be singing us out of the show. But very quickly, today in history, um, on in, on this day in history, 1978, Bob Marley performed at the One Love. Um, peace concert, um, and he performed this in Jamaica. It was Marley's first public appearance in Jamaica since being wounded in an assassination attempt a year and a half earlier. And also in this day in history, Nigerian Communications Commission started a number exchange between the country's four main carriers, allowing customers to keep their number and switch carriers every 90 days for free. And that's all we have for you today on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. I will be signing out. And my name is Olive. Remember to follow me at Olive M. <laughs> I surrender, oh, I surrender to your lady. Surrender, surrender, because you are my loving darling. I surrender, I surrender to your lady. Surrender to your lady. Surrender, surrender. I say, get money for my pocket. Balance it. I will just eat the repeat. Balance it. I say, get money for my pocket. Balance it. I will just call up my guys. Balance it. Balance it, balance it, balance it, because you are my loving daughter. I surrender to your legacy. I'm a kid, confusion, young with disappointment. Oh, correct, oh, Ali, oh, correct, you should book him, and you know, correct. Every man, she no get respect to you, Sensima. Why you the doll and Sensima? Why you not the doll and Sensima? This kind dance you they do. I'm doing the singing, you doing the dancing, Sensima. Why you the doll and Sensima? Why you not the doll and Sensima? God disappoint me. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.